Roberto Fermino So cozy But we sold Coutinho But that don't really matter Because we got Salah I don't know who this guy is <laughs> And Bobby Fermino But we sold Coutinho Christ so What's your Babacar song? Sing that to the people Baba cara le ale, voglio il cazzo come te. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of FIF TV. It is me, Dov, with Vieri Capretta. Ciao everybody. It's been a while, but we're back. It's been a while. Uh, Christmas has come, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, the winter break, the happy post-winter break and all that rubbish. It's and we're back, second half of Serie A coming yeah. up this weekend and we have six questions to answer. Not five, not seven, six questions. Come, this is his question, so blame him. That will be answered in the second half of the season, will of be. course, and we'll try to give some predictions on what will happen Will Napoli win the Scudetto? They can, but I think is there's a few caveats as to whether or not they can. I think the uh, the Europa League is going to be a problem. That Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Monday. That is if they don't get knocked out schedule. straight away. Yeah, but I, I think they will. I think Sarri is going to basically just get rid of this because I think winning the Scudetto is something that's so much more important. So it's, it's bigger than everything. So I think that that Sarri it is, will just definitely. be done with it. Uh, if that's probably that was his thing for the Champions League because I think he just wanted rid of the Champions League. I so think he should not win a Scudetto. Um, if they do win or get at least a draw in Turin, um, they've done half of the job by maintaining this rhythm. They have to do what they did in the second half of last season and the first half of this season, mm -hmm. which is maintain this kind of 50 points. Yeah, they need to. Roughly. In, uh, in half a season. And I think with the, the fact that Sarri doesn't rotate as much, I think that'll be um, much better for Napoli just to focus on one competition as well. Absolutely, so, it goes uh, in their own interest. And at this stage, one thing if you have the Champions League to fight for, Europa League, well, this Scudetto is definitely uh, a bigger prize for Napoli. So will they win it? Maybe. They can. They, can. they definitely can. But they need to keep going the way that they were at the start of the season and kind of and beat Juve or at least draw them. And, and the, the second question is about Juve, of course. Will they still be the best club in Italy even if Napoli win the Scudetto? For me, Vieri, regardless of what happens in, in Serie A, Juventus are head and shoulders above every single team in Italy and they will be regardless of what happens this season. Yeah, just, essentially for the next decade. Yeah, well, they're just so looking far, at, right? Looking at the financial reports, at the, the, the facilities with the stadium. So they look at their squad. The budget, the, the squad. Everything. They're so far ahead. Of they are miles ahead. And I think if they came a close second to Napoli, it wouldn't be a huge problem. Close second, De probably win the Coppa Italia, semi Depending a lot on yeah, what they do in the Champions League as well. If they can confirm at least a, a top four, uh, Champions League finish and the semi finals. They want to win the Champions League, so I think the Scudetto, even though it's kind of the thing for Juve to do, I think now Juventus's focus is solely on winning the Champions yeah. League now. They, they, and they've dominated Italy for Side years. note, even just statistically, would be difficult to win seven in a row after setting two records five in a row, six in a row, seven. It's hard. If there's any team that will do it, it's this Juventus in this time, but uh, it is. Of course, an extra challenge. Right, so from the top to the bottom. To the very bottom. Will Benevento survive? Will they stay up in Serie A? I think this is going to be very, very difficult, just how, how rubbish they've been. However, they won two games in a row, catalysted by, catalysted, catalyzed, whatever the word is, by Kievo. Made everything exciting for everybody. I think if they go on a little run, not a big 10 game run, like a, a run of maybe four or five games, get a couple of wins, maybe a couple of draws, that'll give the squad that belief uh, and the fans that belief that could kind of take them to, so they can at least make it a fight because obviously they're a bit adrift just now, but if they can get into the other teams at the bottom, the other teams are rubbish. So Well, I did, I did, I did two consecutive commentaries on Benevento and the excitement is there. <laughs> like the two, the, the two victories, excited? the two victories um, against Sampdoria was obviously huge with Massimo Coda and inspiring a great comeback. And if the fans stay behind the team, uh, obviously they're going to lose, uh, they've lost Amato Ciciretti, who went to Parma, was probably his best player, their best player so far, but obviously he wasn't on the pitch for the two victories. 
and that just shows that if a team wants it more than another team, they can still do it. And after what we saw with Crotone, anything can happen. Yeah, this, really. the, the witch is being superstitious, maybe. Here you go. Right, number four. Uh, the question is, will Inter make the Champions League? I'm not sure I would put money on it, but I think um, because there's competition for it and because they had a very good start of the, uh, to the season like they did uh, in the past, in previous years, I remember a couple of years ago under Mancini, and then from being almost Scudetto challengers to, you know, three, four games without winning, that puts them back behind and I don't think third, they'll pick it up again. place just now um, and obviously I think well, there may be eight points off the top, maybe more. I've not got the league in front of me so I can't remember but I think the thing about Inter this season has been that right they had a great start, they broke loads of records but they never really, up, like on occasions they just didn't play very well and they were maybe somewhat fortunate in a few games to get wins like I for example the definitely. Roma game at the start of the season, how on earth they got three points in that, nobody will ever know. And obviously they're playing Roma again at the weekend. It's, it's a difficult one. They need a playmaker, a number 10, a trick artista, call it what you will. That is a area of the field that Spalletti knows. They need somebody in. Rafinha, who it looks like is going to be the, the addition. I don't think he's the man, personally. To not to make a difference. He can be a, an extra addition. The midfielders need to score more. He needs more options. He needs Perisic to switch on for a longer time of the season. Uh, he was one well, of the best so, players. They're so reliant on the Perisic, Icardi, that partnership, so reliant on it. They are, they are, of course, and they have been for a couple of years now. We'll have to see, obviously, what uh, the other teams do as well, but I'm not sure Inter will actually keep it up on this level to make it a chance. If they get rid of Rafinha and get let's, maybe Pastore in or somebody like that, well, uh, I'll, uh, if, they get, if they've managed to do that, then okay. Probably the Champions League. I think they're good enough. It's a different issue. <laughs> but, but yeah, this is dependent on their transfer business. Otherwise, I think it'll be quite difficult. Um, right, question five. From one side uh, of Milan to the other, will AC Milan get anything positive out of this season? Well, they could maybe finish in 10th spot. <laughs> well, the point is, if you look at if you look at the league, well, no. Um, I mean, but but they're still in uh, two cup competitions. Uh, the Europa League, of course, and the Coppa Italia. And uh, winning the Coppa Italia would guarantee a Europa League spot for next season. Winning the Europa League would guarantee them Champions. a Champions League spot. So obviously the Europa League is the big, big aim. And they have a pretty easy game as well. Well, Ludo Goretz is coming up in that, and they should, you would expect them to win that. But I mean, this is Milan we're talking about this season, so anything is possible. But I think that most fans would, if they were given the choice, to have their team, say, finish 10th, 6th, or something like that, 8th. But win two trophies, they would take the two trophies. Well, right? even just one of them, yeah. probably. Well, one, yeah, because you want your team to win things. Essentially, you want silverware at the end of the season, whether it be the league, a cup, or your just look, or just look how um, the fans reacted to the um, Super Copa. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, so if they, if they, uh, it could be that silver line where it's been like a, a horrible season all the way through, but then they go and win two trophies, and then everybody will be happy and good to so get the job forever. And, yeah, yeah, and, 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 and like Ringo, right, the star, of course. So they can, of course, get uh, achieve something positive, and it's thanks to the the cup competition. Right, and it'll be strange if that does happen. Uh, it's just well, that that's how football works. You know, horrible <laughs> stories and end of this and everything. We're only in again. January, a long way to go. Still. Yeah, exactly. Right. So last question is, which Roman club will finish highest? And this obviously ties in with uh, Inter, yeah. uh, in a way, but well. If you asked this question a couple of months ago, uh, or at the start of the season, yeah. who would have thought Lazio would do so well? Yeah, Lazio have been, they've been under the radar all season. They've got, what is it, there's a top scorer in, in Italy, uh, I think it was a joint top in Europe. Yeah, with Kane, with 20 Kane. goals in, uh, the, so far. The, um, Simone Inzaghi has turned uh, Milinkovic Stavic into an absolute star. Uh, and is and I think you mentioned as well Luis Alberto. Luis Alberto, I think, is the biggest surprise so far. Who who would have thought completely out of the blue? Um, he's keeping someone like um, Philip Anderson out, even now that he's back from injury. He's not getting a chance to play. And um, so De Vrij at the back, they just. I mean, we would say Lazio after everything we've said. Also, <laughs> Lazio would be fantastic. But uh, but, uh, but of course, Roma um, have a better squad overall. Mm. Um, that goes without saying, they came second last season. They've done well with uh, Di Francesco despite the doubts of the beginning of the season. 
they've just had a bit of a of a bad moment, a bad month, just like yeah. Inter. Yeah, well, that happens. And they need to they, to really lift it again. And obviously, they've got a chance at the San Siro against the Nerazzurri in what is the biggest game of the weekend. And what a way to start the, the second half of the season. Yeah. season. So there we go. So that's the six questions that we think or we know will be answered in the second half of the campaign. Um, Vieri, tell the people about social media first. Yeah, please, of course, you know, we're everywhere. Uh, Force Italian Football on Twitter, Facebook, uh, follow us, like our page. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plenty of great videos um, from the stadiums. We're yeah. on location very often. On Dog will be <laughs> at the San Siro <laughs> this weekend. And uh, uh, subscribe, of course, to our YouTube channel. Support us on Patreon. And then don't Go forget to the website, get a mug. Get you a can fifth buy mug. One. Yeah, they're lovely. They make everything taste better. That's how good it is. Well, that extra Italian taste of coffee yeah, and um, a lot of coffee. Um, and if you're not watching, the FIF Cup is ongoing just now, so you can follow it on Twitter. And um, the knockout stages are coming up. They will be on Facebook and stuff as well, and on the website, obviously. Fantastic privacy, like super excitement as well. So go on and, and check that out as well. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all. That's um, it. So there's nothing else left for me to say apart from Arrivederci. Ciao.